George Galloway is never far from controversy. This week he's been in Havana meeting the Cuban leader Fidel Castro. Meanwhile, back in the UK, remarks to next month's GQ magazine have triggered another political row. In the interview, Mr Galloway is asked by the former Mirror editor Piers Morgan, would the assassination of, say, Tony Blair by a suicide bomber, if there were no other casualties, be justified as revenge for the war in Iraq? To which George Galloway replied, yes, it would be morally justified. He goes on, it would be entirely logical and explicable. Downing Street has refused to comment, but some of Mr Galloway's fellow MPs were swift to condemn the remarks. He's still saying at the end of the day he would understand why somebody would do it, and he actually talks about the morality of that. Anyone who knows anything about suicide bombers recognises this is nihilism, not morality. George apparently fails to grasp the distinction. It's time to go for Tony Blair from Downing Street. Now, today, this weekend. Wassalamu alaikum. George Galloway has, according to some parliamentarians, gone too far this time, and they're arguing he should be disciplined. It seems right uh, for a motion to go before the House of Commons to consider disciplinary action and whether or not he should be suspended for a period of time.